How long can you drive with check engine light on? As long as your car is running smoothly, you can drive it with the check engine light on. So far, the check engine light is one of the most talked about light issues in the car dashboard. This video will help you get a basic knowledge of what a check engine light is, its location, solid and flash engine light. If you should even drive your car with a check engine light on, how long can you go with the check engine light on? What could cause your check engine light to come on? Possible effects of driving with a check engine light on, and much more. What is the check engine light? The check engine light is also known as MIL, malfunction indicator light. It is a sign sent by the car engine computer signifying that something might be wrong. The computer is known as ECU, it simply performs all the math your vehicle needs to run smoothly. The ECU performs some tests on your vehicle's powertrain that is essential for the smooth running of the car to ensure that every detail is adequately functional. The ECU performs this function only when the vehicle is put into ignition. Where is the check engine light located? Every vehicle has some warning lights on its dashboard with a different meaning for each light signal. A vehicle's check engine light is also situated in the dashboard panel colored red or yellow and can be identified with either an engine symbol or the words check engine. The primary function of a check engine light is to signal the malfunctioning of one of the car sensors. Therefore, the car is likely not running correctly. The check engine light can therefore be either solid or flashing. It is essential to mention that the check engine light should be off within 5 seconds of ignition, which is meant to be on when you start your vehicle. Solid or flashing check engine light Number 1. Solid check engine light A solid car engine light signifies a stored code in your car's computer. It also means that the fault has been reoccurring and therefore needs attention where the inspection will be made on the stored check engine light, and a test will be run on the car computer codes. Number 2. Flashing check engine light A flashing check engine light means your car's catalytic converters will be damaged if you drive the vehicle. The flashing signal means the vehicle car should not be driven at all. Doing so would cause severe damage to the vehicle. If you have followed through watching this video to this point, please, take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos like this. And also, do not forget to like and share this video to support me, it helps me a lot. Thank you. Can you drive with a check engine light on? Yes, with a solid check engine light, you can drive your car as long as it runs efficiently. You should avoid driving the vehicle once you notice it is likely not running smoothly. On the other hand, driving such a car should be avoided with a flashing check engine light. Sure, it can run but certainly not smoothly, and if you run with it, you will likely get the catalytic converter damaged, and it will subsequently cost you more to replace as most cars do come with more than one catalytic converter. How long can you drive with the check engine light on? You can drive your car for hundreds of miles smoothly with a solid check engine light. You can even run more miles without any issues. But that largely depends on the stored code of your car computer. The car uses made-up sensor valves when the engine sensor has issues keeping running. The only effect would be a reduction in your car's fuel efficiency, likely affecting the car's overall performance. Still, surely you can drive your vehicle for miles smoothly without any significant issues. Though it is not an emergency, an appointment should be made with your mechanic to detect and repair the faults. What could cause your check engine light to come on? The check engine light is also known as malfunction indicator light MIL. therefore, a warning light signifies a potential issue with your car. It is often detected by the car computer called ECU. So, what could cause the check engine light to come on? A problem with either your spark plug wires or the spark plugs themselves could cause your check engine light to come on. There are two stages to the warning check engine light. One. Solid slash steady check engine light, indicates a minor fault. 2. Flashing check engine light, indicates a severe fault. Your mechanic will have to read your car's computer generated fault codes using a scan tool. When the fault is detected, it will state the parts that need to be repaired or replaced, which can cause a lot based on the seriousness of the fault. The exciting feature of the check engine light is that it can turn on for a minor issue like a loose fuel cap or something more serious like an engine knock or some severe damage to other parts of your vehicle. Most common causes for the check engine light to come on. 1. Faulty oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor primarily measures the quantity of oxygen present in your car exhaust system. This information is sent to your car's computer to adjust the fuel and engine air mixture. Your vehicle will likely consume more fuel with a damaged oxygen sensor and large emission production. This is certainly not an emergency issue, but you should get your car to your mechanic if such a fault is noticed. 2. Faulty fuel cap 
The check engine light is likely to come on when your vehicle fuel system has a vapor leak due to a faulty or lost fuel cap. More severe cases could involve some severe leak in the fuel system at the upper portion. Without visiting your mechanic, you can replace or tighten the fuel cap, and your vehicle can move smoothly. Then the check engine light should go off, visiting your mechanic would be the next option if it doesn't. 3. Failed Catalytic Converter A catalytic converter's primary function involves controlling emissions in the vehicle exhaust system. It converts harmful gases such as carbon monoxide into byproducts that are less harmful to the environment. A failed catalytic converter will cost your vehicle more fuel, produce significant emissions, and reduce the vehicle's overall efficiency. It is pretty expensive, and as mentioned earlier, most cars come with more than one catalytic converter. You should not drive the vehicle if your check engine light turns on due to the failed catalytic converter. It should be taken immediately to your mechanic. Driving will cause severe damage to your car, and you will pay more money to get a replacement or repair. 4. Faulty Mass Airflow MAF, Sensor Mass Airflow Sensor, known as MAF, performs the primary function of aiding a car computer to detect the amount of fuel needed to be added due to the amount of air going into the vehicle. A dirty air filter and an improperly placed air filter are the primary cause of a faulty mass sensor. This certainly is not an emergency case and certainly not severe also. Still, until a replacement or proper installation is done, your vehicle will likely consume more fuel, and its efficiency will likely be reduced. In other words, expect nothing superb from your car. A professional mechanic should be able to correct the fault, and your vehicle should be running smoothly. 5. Faulty Spark Plugs A faulty spark plug in your car could easily trigger the check engine light to turn on. It would help if you constantly replace the spark plug described in your car maintenance manual. If you haven't, visit your service proper to get a replacement done. If you can't get it done yourself, you should visit your mechanic for a smooth and quick replacement. The check engine light should turn off when done well, and your car should be good enough to run smoothly. 6. Faulty Ignition Coil This is a big part of the car ignition system, which performs the primary function of being an induction coil by simply transforming your car voltage to the needed volts to light the spark plug for the ignition. The check engine light will likely turn on due to the burning of the ignition coil. If you notice this, it is faulty, you need to get your car's ignition system diagnosed by a professional mechanic to make repairs or replace necessary parts for the smooth running of your vehicle. 7. Faulty Charging System you certainly want to avoid jump-starting your cars. Therefore, you should ensure your car battery is frequently connected to the charging system. A fault with the car's electrical charging system or the alternator will likely not allow your vehicle to start. Therefore, it would help if you visited your mechanic for a possible fix to the issue. In conclusion, the check engine light doesn't always mean an emergency, you should not panic when it turns on while driving. A solid check engine light means an issue with your car but you can still go to your destination. While a flashing check engine light means that the case might be severe, you should stop the vehicle and check for any possible strange problems. If you notice an abnormal sign, you should call your mechanic, or, if you see nothing, you can drive to your destination and visit your mechanic next. I hope you enjoy this video, if you do, please, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And also, like, and share this video, and I will see you in my next video.